Now I heard a rumor that you are someone who wants to know how to cook the best French onion soup ever. Well, the onion soup has barely been around since ancient times. But French onion soup, that is the best because it has the cheese toast on the top of it. And I reckon there's nothing like my French onion soup. And I'm not even French. I'm actually Austrian, but I did manage and run some of Europe's best restaurants. And at one stage, I was the youngest chef in the world who got 18 out of 19 points at Goemio. And today, I run my own cooking school. And in this video, I will turn you into an instant French onion soup specialist in case that is what you aim for. French onion soup was not always what it is. I mean, Talafon in his 14th century cookbook mentioned it, but he topped it with a pea puree. Another story tells that King Louis XV in the 17th century invented it after late night hunting and according to Alexander Dumas, it was the Duke of Lorraine who tasted it in a champagne inn. Now, the same story tells that French onion soup also masks the smell of alcohol from drinking from the night before. <laughs> it does work. <laughs> um, and it was also considered as a good hangover cure. Um, I'll keep you updated on that one. So, so hang in there, please. So neither Louis XV, Alexander Dumas, or the Duke of Lorraine mentioned the cheese toast on the top. That appears first when the soup was served as a breakfast to the workers of Le Hall, which is the large open air market in Paris. The restaurants around the market served the soup with a cheese toast on the top and put it under the grill and basically served it au gratin. Now, I traveled France a lot and I was told by a chef in Normandy that the cheese toast has its origin in Normandy. But that's not all. There's another Normandy secret which I will tell you in a second. And it makes a lot of sense to me. Have you ever heard of gratin Normandy? It's a thick onion stew, sometimes mixed with walnuts and then it's topped with bread and hard cheese and then it's baked in the oven. Now Normandy sits right on the top of France. Normandy also grows the best onions in the world, the Roscoff. Roscoff onions are reddish onions. They are really mild and they're really pleasant. A bit like shallots, not too sweet but highly aromatic. Normandy also is too cold to grow wine so they make the world's best cider. It's a bloody good one if you ask me. I can tell you that. I tasted it many times. It's cloudy, it's bone dry, it's stinky. Oh, it's just so good when you get yourself into it. It's none of that wishy-washy, sugary, alcoholic lemonade that we call cider. No, 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 no. The stuff from Normandy literally grows hair on your chest, if you know what you mean. It's bump. And it perfectly counterbalances the sweetness of the onions. So if you don't get any of that bone dry cider, then you just use normal cider and you add some cider vinegar and let that acidity kick in. I found that onion soups are often too heavy, too sweet, too much brown stock, and it ends up being almost like an onion gravy with a cheese toast on top of it. So keep it light and don't cook it till the onions are like mush leave a little bit of bite in them, cook it shorter. The bread is equally important. So go for a really good thin sourdough. So let's, should we cook it then? Butter in a cold pan, let it heat up, and you add the onions. Don't stir, cook it for two to three minutes until the onions get a bit of color. Then stir, let it sit again, let them brown again. If you stir them too much, you just release all the juice from the onions and they don't take any color. Then you add your side and if you add cider vinegar, you do that at the same time. Chicken stock or blonde stock, brown stock, if you don't have any, just use some oxo cubes. Cook it for 20 to 25 minutes. Don't tell anyone I told you that about the oxo cubes. You have the recipe in the link below. Then you season it with salt and pepper. It's always going to taste a bit incomplete. Think about the end product when it's topped with the rich cheese toast. Switch the grill element on. 
Now another little quick secret while that happens. Um, that will make your French onion soup just so much better, which is again done in Gratin Normandy. A touch of cream at the bottom of the soup bowl. It will just bring all the flavors together and make sure your onion soup is really thick, thick enough that there are enough onions to hold the bread up so it doesn't sink in. You don't want your cheese toast to sink in. The bread needs to be sitting on top of the onions. Then bread on it, cheese on top, loads of cheese, loads of cheese. I mean, it's French. Don't hold back. Under the grill and then you bake it until it's going brown. So yes, 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 yes. No pre-baking of the cheese grater. Why? I mean, it's rubbish, seriously. It is. It's like cutting corners. I mean, you pre-cook that cheese grater and then you put it in a container and you let it stand and the cheese basically, the fat runs out, it breaks basically down. It turns rancid within a day. Rancid cheese, yuck. You don't want that. And don't ever do that if you did, promise. Now, onion soup is essentially a liquid kraut, and I think it's actually the best cheese toast today ever is. And by the way, check out my video on croque monsieur if you need another cheese fix. Because I mentioned before Alexandre Dumas, and he wrote sort of one of the first dictionaries in French cooking. Now, he also wrote a few famous novels, but my story with Alexandre Dumas is, you know, I have that book at home in my kitchen on my shelf. Now, my son, when he started to read, you know, when he went to primary school, he sits one day on the kitchen desk, you know, while I sort of cook along, and then he looks up at the bookshelf, and then he says to me, Dad, why do you have a cookbook that's called Dumb Ass on Food? Dumb Ass, Dumb Ass. Perfect. That's when you just learn them. That, that's what happens when you're just about to learn to read. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.